So Gaffer, with the Morkham game being suspended in midweek, how has that affected plans and how you approach Saturday's game against Crawley Town? Yeah, obviously it's given us a bit more of a rest from, from the game against Carlisle on Saturday. However, the weather gods haven't really been in our favour. Um, obviously a lot of snow and ice in the Bolton area. And even though we're blessed with some great facilities, it's still challenging to, to put sessions on for the lads and make sure we're prepared properly for Crawley on Saturday. Looking at um, Saturday's opponents, Crawley, they're in top form, having picked up some good results, particularly away from home recently. What kind of challenge are you expecting from them? Um, it'll be a difficult game, no doubt, and they're on the back of a very good win at Forest Green on Tuesday. Um, in terms of the way they play, they, they change a lot. Um, formations have changed. Uh, whoever they're coming up against, really, they seem to adapt and change their formation and tactics. So we don't really know what to expect. The most important thing for us is to concentrate on what we do and be better at what we do. And certainly that means defensively we need to be stronger and, and better and more improved, defending our box, defending set pieces better and then make sure we, we attack and score goals like we have been doing in recent weeks. Um, but yeah, it's going to be a tough game, but we're looking forward to it. Yeah, like you say, um, goals scoring for ourselves has not been a problem. It's just at the other end of the pitch where you've needed to tie Yeah, it's just the inconsistencies of it, really. Like I said, on Monday we've conceded 17 set pieces. and that isn't, you know, you, you can't really coach and train marking a man. It's just about you being determined, aggressive and, and defending one for one and stopping your man scoring. Uh, hopefully we'll see... The players do that better on Saturday and, as I said, if we can attack the way we have been doing and scoring goals, then hopefully we'll get the right result. Any early, early team news ahead of the game? Obviously, Peter Kiosa will be suspended. Yeah, Peter's out for the one game because the Morecambe game was off. He misses Saturday. He's a big loss for us because he's a very good player, but it, it leaves a chance and an opportunity for someone else to come in and stake a claim to, to keep the shirt. Yeah, after Saturday's game, there's going to be a 10-day gap between games. Has that break come at a good time or would you prefer there to be a frequency of matches? Well, uh, yeah, I mean, it, it is a good break after after a Christmas period um, and we've identified things that we need to work on. It's been difficult to get content into the players on the training pitch because we've been playing, recover, play, recover, but it gives us a chance to really work on things on the training pitch and improve the squad and get people in the building with the window opening. But also the, the COVID testing starts next week, so... You know, we don't know where we're going to be. There's lots of asymptomatic cases, especially in sportsmen. So, you know, that could make sure, well, that could damage our training schedule, um, depending on if we've got any cases and, and how long they have to self-isolate for.